Hello, I'm Roland Patrick. I'm a consultant paediatric surgeon, and this is the introduction video to your ear sim and surge track laparoscopic training equipment uh, that the deanery has purchased on your behalf for your gynecology training. So, ear sim is a compact and portable laparoscopic box trainer. Opens by these latches here. Inside it, you'll find all the disposables, practice models, and instruments that you need. You turn it around take this plug from the central hole and then use your tablet or smartphone. I use my phone if I'm just doing a quick five minutes practice here or there, say warming up before a big case. It works fine with a phone. It, it's a small screen but it's, it's good enough. With a tablet it's brilliant. Um, and what you want to do is open the Surge Track app. Surge Track is an application that provides a curriculum of skills including training videos to demonstrate what, how you should be practicing. It maps the movement of your instruments inside the box so you get objective performance feedback and then it collates this into an online portfolio with which you can demonstrate skills progression. So open up the Surge Track application, point the camera of your device, phone or tablet, through the aperture at the lid and then what's going on inside the box is portrayed on the screen. If you have a flash on your device, click the button and that gives you coaxial light. If you don't have a flash or you do and the light is still very poor, all the SMs come with an LED strip on the inside, which you can plug in with a USB into just any USB socket on a plug or other device. To demonstrate the Surge Track software, I am going to plug it in with an adapter, lightning to HDMI adapter, and you'll be able to see what's going on on the screen. When it loads up. So here you can see what the Surge Track application looks like. You have tasks, an assessor button, which the assessors will have, the history, and a progress bar. So let's say you want to start a task. The course that you are doing is the OBGYN course. This is six modules, starting with basic skills, advancing to more advanced laparoscopic suturing tasks. The aim of this course is that you complete all six of these modules uh, within the uh, target time frame and then you submit a video once you've completed uh, the task appropriately, and that will be assessed by um, the trainers. Once you've had all six task videos signed off, then a certificate will be issued to say that you've completed this OBGYN lap skills course. So we'll start with the first task. You get a description of how to undertake the procedure, and then a video that demonstrates the technique. You can watch and re-watch this as many or as few or as, as little times as required until you understand what the task involves. And then you click start task. That starts up the camera. You take your instruments, you place some stickers will come with your instruments, place a, a red sticker on the instrument you're going to use in your right hand uh, and a blue sticker on the end of the instrument that you're going to use in your left hand. Put these in through the ports and obviously stand at that side. I'm just giving you the, the bird's eye view as it were. And you undertake your task. In this case, it's just to learn, develop basic instrument manipulation skills to thread these pegs. So you undertake the task. And as you can see, it's great if you have a big screen, but you don't need it. A tablet or a phone is, is perfectly enough. Complete the task and then you click end task. Now while you've been doing this, the software has been mapping the movement of your instruments. So you get a list of metrics, how far your instruments have moved, um, how much time the instrument's spent on or out off the operative field, how smooth the motion has been and, and so forth. Now those numbers in themselves don't actually mean a great deal. They do allow you to map your progression over time. But because they don't individually uh, necessarily help you, 
what we've done is added a, a degree of natural language processing. So there are these two lines here that talk about the percentage of time that your instruments were on or off the operative field um, and the ratio of one hand to the other. So in this case, we've got an encouraging, keep up the good work, your left to right hand instrument distance is good, continue to focus on, on being ambidextrous. And that's based on a number of studies that we've done that's demonstrated that as your skills progress, you become much less dependent on just one dominant hand and you become much more ambidextrous. In red there for that procedure, I've got scope for improvement. Your instruments were off screen for greater than 20% of the time. Work on keeping your instruments within the field of view. Again, based on studies that we've done using this equipment that demonstrate that uh, more experienced surgeons keep their instruments within the operative field for a much higher percentage of the time than novices. You can share your task if you think that you did a procedure particularly well or a technique that you'd like to share with others, you click share it and that opens up all the usual options for, for sharing with other people. You can see your video if you did something and you're not quite sure what it was, but it felt good, say if you're doing laparoscopic suturing and it seemed to flow more easily than had done previously, you want to revise to see what you did, you just click uh, see your video and you can re-watch your video. And then when you've finished, you click done. That task then drops into your history. So here you can see all the procedures that you've undertaken. At the top of the screen here, it tells you how many hours you have practiced, how many activities you've done, how many others in your group have done. And then the third line there is the total number of activities done by the users of uh, Surge Track around the world. Just so you can sort of see that we're part of this big global training community. And we've had, what, 6,057 hours of practice on, on Surge Track around the world and over 100,000 activities have been completed. When you have completed one of the tasks in the target times that's specified for each one, you upload it uh, to be, so you click submit for grading and that will then send that task to your assessor. What the assessors see, when they load up, is the list of tasks that have been submitted for assessment and you have this you have the video of the task that was completed and to score them all you have to do is look at the time that they completed the task in and grade them according to a b or c target times in this case the task was done in 29 seconds so they don't quite meet the 25 seconds grade a but they're underneath the grade b 45 second threshold so you click grade B. You have to sit and watch the video to make sure that they did actually complete the task and you know, they didn't just set it running. And then I, in this case, I would click grade B. They also have the option if you want, it's not compulsory, but you can also score on a line cut scale, a sort of OSAT style scale of handling of instruments, flow procedure and respect for tissue from one to seven. So I might say, yeah, that was a four, they handled instruments quite well very smooth flow so we're going to give them a six and probably um, probably a six again for respect for tissues however if they say collided with the pegs or been rough with the string you might have scored them down for that um, and then you click complete assessment this isn't compulsory but it does allow you to give a little bit more feedback to the trainees if you wish to and you can also add a free text comment there if uh, if appropriate So that's a whistle stop store of the system. Um, I hope you enjoy it. There is a long list of FAQs on our website and we're very happy to be contacted uh, through support at eosurgical.com at any time if you have any inquiries or questions. Enjoy.